Okay, well, today, um, I got, uh, the last connections made. Um, the connector here was particularly a pain to do. Um, the solder cups inside of there are barely big enough to fit maybe even 18 gauge wire. Um, but, uh, I have, uh, you know, 16 gauge wire in there, and anyway, it it worked. It was a pain, um, especially with this uh, um, shielded cable that I got. Uh, it's a pretty large diameter cable, um, and actually, there are inside of this. There's insulation on the outside, and then there's the the uh, uh, shielding, and then there's more insulation, and then the wire bundles. Well, it just barely fit around the shielding on that crimp connection here. And so I had to slide it back, and I only had a little bit of room to get everything on there. But I got it, and it works uh, fine. Again, I had to make a connection here for everything and get my bulkhead connector in. Uh, so that all seems to work all right. Um, before I move anything, i got to get the rest of this slack taken out. But I figured I would just show the uh, VFD working. So um, I haven't quite figured this out. It's supposed to be a zero to twenty-four thousand RPM uh, spindle um, and VFD combo, but uh, um, when I put it in, it uh, only seems to go up to about. 11,500 RPMs and I'm not sure if I've got the a setting wrong somewhere I looked through that manual and I couldn't really figure anything out um, the manual is pretty poor but um, I think it's uh, maybe possibly the number of poles or something in the that comes a default with this thing might be wrong um, so it's calculating the RPM based on the frequency wrong I have no idea, so um, I'll have to look on the internet a little bit. So anyway, if I, I've got it set to go to the max RPM, and it's got a really slow ramp rate, so it'll uh, slowly speed up and slowly speed down. So those are the RPMs that it's displaying. And you won't be able to see much. I've got the nut off of there because I don't want it to spin off and fly in my face, so... So there it's up at full RPM. That's supposed to be 24,000 RPM, but as you see on the display, it's saying 11,500. So it's roughly half the RPM, and I'm not exactly sure uh, why that is. So um, anyway, it it runs fine. I can leave it like that for quite a while, and it'll just do its little thing. Um, got to say that this is a much much quieter uh, spindle than the Porter cable router or any other router I've ever worked with um, I mean if it's a tenth the level of noise of that thing uh, I'd be surprised although when I start cutting something I imagine it gets quite a bit louder but um, anyway it, it seems to be fine so um, if anybody was curious it also displays the amperage uh, that it draws on this display. Can get it over there. All right, so that's displaying the amps. So when it's running at full RPM with no load on it, it's drawn 0.4 amps. So I will go ahead and slow that down and see once what it reads when it. Uh, is firing itself up. Uh, I imagine the higher my ramp rate is, the more current it will draw when it speeds up. But uh, so, of course, now it's reading none. It's off. So I can go ahead and uh, start that back up again.
I'll have to see once what that thing reads when uh, I get a little load on there when I cut, but uh, I mean it's not very much, so anyway. Seems to be working. Um, Till next time. Thanks.